And now, Shout out to Shadow. She's gonna make, she's gonna make me go harder now. I'm gonna go harder. Now. Yeah, Just yeah. So you, I can prove her wrong. You're gonna pay special attention to the names. <laughs> yes. By the way, Cole, what's the name of this show? <laughs> what's the name of the game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it's hollow something, right? Yeah. yeah you got I knew it. it was hollow, but I didn't get the other part. It, it's hollow knight. Hollow knight. Gotcha. Yeah. And look, this Definitely place is... Too. Oh, also, welcome, everybody. Hello. We're playing this game again. Um, we're going to see if... Uh... Oh, hello. Um, we're going to see if the lag is better. Um, this place was closed before. Now it's open. So, we'll go inside. It looks like a bar from the outside. Once you get inside, it's more like a shop. Yeah, like it's a teeny scroll, teeny. Like a map shop. Yeah. This is his wife, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mama, He's I... Zelda. Huh. Oh. Oh. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally. Pop! To deliver some new maps for the store. There I go again, making the same little bits. But I do wish you'd spend a little more time up here. I'm not much interested in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. <sighs> she misses her husband, man. What the heck? Cole, how are we so broke? <laughs> We've been killing monsters for 40 minutes. We, we killed monsters for almost an hour. Yeah. And we only got $273. Are those things only worth a dollar a piece? I mean, something like that. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you were you were, uh, you were getting on me for just going on a killing spree, but you have to, man. Man, we're so poor right now. I feel like I can't afford a drink. <laughs> Is that the compass? Yeah, that's a compass. Um, for $220? Yeah, man. We can just get lost. It's steep. <laughs> yeah, good point. Collected a charm. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. Nice. To equip a charm up in the charms menu, I was staying at a bench. Okay. <sighs> Papanada. 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 And that's it. That's all we can buy. What's the other stuff? The quill? Um, yeah, the quill. We need the quill next, I see. Yep. Definitely need the quill. Yeah. Hold on, I need to I get... I don't like her. You don't like her? I need to get one more. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. I do love Bapanada, though. I do like the, the catchphrase. Bapanada. Bapanada. She's Italian. Okay. Ah. So now, I got this. I'm going to equip it. Bang. So now when I look at my map, now I'm on the map. Ooh. So I can even look at it while I'm moving. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like the way you did that. I like the way this game interface Whoa. is. I'm going to be honest with you. I like it a lot. I like what this is. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, Cole, we got to get some money. You got to go kill. I know. We got to <laughs> go kill. <laughs> um, I hate to say it. <laughs> I feel like we're body, like bounty hunters. Yeah. That's a good hypothesis. Friggin' hypothesis. Uh, <laughs> become a nerd. Huh. Come up with a hypothesis for the story of this game. Lore. Oh my goodness, they are one apiece, Go, They're one. One? It takes us two attacks to kill. Three attacks uh, and we get two pieces of silver. Yeah, that's true. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, they're annoying. I don't care. Whoa! Bang. Does the money have a name in this game? Yeah, it's called Geo. Geos. Yeah, Geo. Oh! Oh! Oops! Oh! Oh! Can we buy Geos, like, with cash? Like, actual money? Nope. <laughs> this is... They... That's... I never thought of that. This is not... You can't pay for this game. It's just, uh... I like that. They're sticking to their, uh... Their, what's it called? Well, your, your, not goals, but like something a little bit deeper. Like your uh, stick to their not philosophy, not to their guns. Not to their guns, not to their philosophies. They're sticking to their ethics, maybe ethics. Sticking to their principles. Or... Principles. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to. Um. Oh, you know what? I don't care about you either. Get out of here. Just get out of my way. Goodbye. 
We were at this place before. Yeah? Yeah, this is where we stopped. Whee! Play in the water. I didn't get in the water. I was just right here before. His light shines so bright. Yeah, it does. He does have a light. Bench. Huh. This is great. I, I, I've never noticed that. He hasn't that. been through the horrors of the world yet. Yeah, he's still an innocent little boy. The light, the light is going to jump soon. Though. He hasn't been on foot wiki yet. Oh. <laughs> What's down here? Oh, monies. Monies. Yes, you get all you can get. There's a. After I see those prices, I apologize. Yeah, now you know. No, it's okay. Can you, can you kill them right there? No. Nope. But watch this. Do I want to try this? Alright, watch this. Boom! <laughs> I can hop on him. I want the noise. Yeah, it's good. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye. No, the Geo. Okay, here we go. Ah. No! Alright. Ah! Great job, Bo. Got one ah. Is that it? <laughs> Yes. I feel like when you do stuff like that, it comes from the gut. Like it comes from like the stomach and the diaphragm. Oh, when I yell like, like that, like, oh, like you have to, yeah, you have to <laughs> just that whole action. Yeah. That's it's um, it's hard to uh, because when you work, record with a microphone for no one who's for someone who's never done that before, um, you there's you talk loudly and you talk quietly. And then when you put on headphones and someone yells after whispering, it blows your head off. So when you record the microphone, you have to like level it all out so it's all at the same volume. Um, and it's really hard to like test that and do that in advance. You really have to do something like this where you give a good guttural scream mm -hmm. in order to tell if, uh, if it's too loud or not. Um, so anyway. People that have never recorded YouTube before or anything, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's okay. Uh, well, Cole, I feel like I'm one of those people. I feel like that was a target at me. No! <laughs> no, it wasn't. I cannot say it, I know it was nice. When I was, when I was saying it, it sounded like I was, but <laughs> it's not. No, you're fine. No, I promise you I was just joking. Uh, it's, I just get uh, into the technical I do stuff. Wish I, was in front of, I do wish we did this together like in the same room. That way I could actually see yeah. how you do everything. Because I, I would love to see how you level stuff off and stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be great. Just so I can help you out sometimes. Because I feel like I'm just here reaping all the fun and <laughs> you have to do the work. Dude, that's, the, that's a good job. That's a good gig right there. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a sweet deal. I don't care at all. Like It would be fun to... Um, It'd be a lot of fun to share that process with somebody, but at the same time, I really enjoy doing it um, on my own. I'm I'm a perfectionist, and so I like doing it all and like doing it exactly how I want to, even if that's not the best way. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that oh. quality in that. People oh. with quality like that, they really. Oh, a perfectionist. I envy that. Yeah, I, I envy that. You're not a perfectionist? On resumes, on, on resumes I put perfectionist, but I'm not. I'm <laughs> somebody that comes in uh, and gets, the, I get the work done, Yeah. but I'm not trying to perfect it. Yeah. I'm not, unless you pay me a certain amount, I'm working my ass off. I'm working my butt off. I'm working. I am working. But if you're, if it's like a nine to five and it's like I have no passion for it, I'm coming yeah. to collect a check and yeah. go home. I mean, even if you're uh, a perfectionist, I feel like if it's, if that's the purpose of the job is just you know, just to get the monies, then like, yeah, then it doesn't matter. You just, that's what you're going in for is, and you just go in and go out and only what you need to do. <laughs> oh. I feel like if, if for my own work, even, I'm, I'm not even a perfectionist for my own work. Really? I do, I do my best. I guess my best. I, I can, I know when something is perfect and I never feel my work oh. is perfect. I feel like I have so much room to go, but I'm just so exhausted from working on yeah. it so far. I know this would be good enough for maybe uh, at, at, at best an A, at least a B, right? Like yeah. at worst a B. So. Hey man, I, I know that. I think you're better off without perfectionism, because like, 
I don't actually think that there is a perfect anything. I think there's like beauty and imperfection or whatever. Um, oh. Like, I don't think there's any perfect anything. Any perfect song. Oh! Um, I, I feel like, you know, there's always a point where you have to stop and you have to be okay with it not being perfect because I don't think it exists, you know? So I bet mm. you have a lot less stress in your life than a perfectionist might. Okay, big boy. Hello, YouTube. This was the end. And you all just finished Cole's philosophy class <laughs> on perfectionism. Yep. <laughs> It was really great, though. I love that. I love the whole conversation. Bro. I know, me too. A perfectionist telling a non-perfectionist how they feel, and a non-perfectionist telling a perfectionist. Yeah. It's very good conversations. Yes. Very good. I think there's a middle ground that we need to reach at a point that uh, there's a lot of discourse between us, between them. Right. We um we haven't been friends for super long, and so there's like, you know, stuff that whoa. We need to get to know each other, you know, and I'm excited about it. And I like, uh, I, and it's it's fun to get like a little deeper on the show. Sometimes it's supposed to be haha -ha funny, but you know, we're just chilling. And sometimes the 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 more interesting conversation comes out. Yes, I do support that. Uh, if you all do not know, Cole is uh, very smart. He got an A in the class that I could not get an A in. Oh, whatever. And uh, ah! I resent him for that, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> The friendship is too. I don't know what. To see him fail. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is why I'm here right now. That, that is not true at all. I. Uh, there's <laughs> there's I mean, a there's a tweet there's a tweet that said uh, I don't want to see the person downfall. I want to help him. Uh, I want to be the cause for it. <laughs> so <laughs> I laugh at that every single time. That's funny. She said, it was like praying for his downfall is not enough. I want to participate in. It. Yeah. That, that had me. Tickled. That's funny. I need to be the reason. Oh! You fall down. <laughs> that was funny. The way you feel. Yeah. <gasps> Listen to the sound he makes. But look how sad he is. I feel like you just ended up on the sad. I know. I'm sorry, like sir. Like he was forced. I'm sorry, but... So, there's a genre in anime, and it's called isekai. Isekai. Isekai means... Being reincarnated in another world, and this is the vibe Ooh. I'm getting right now. So any yeah. type of show, like some of the more famous shows are Sword Art Online. Uh, uh, another one would be Delver's a Part Timer. Those shows, people die. No, no not Delver's a Part Timer. It will be. Uh, dang, what's another famous one? Uh, Shield Hero. Yeah, Shield Hero. Well, a lot of times, uh, a lot of, well, and Slime. There we go, Slime. When they, people die, they go into uh, another world, reincarnated. I feel like this is what our main character may be going through. Yeah, reincarnation. Will I watch any of those dramas? Are you gonna? I mean, any of those animes? Are they in the queue? Uh, no. Your next anime may be something. I don't know. I, I don't know because it hasn't ended. But I feel as though you're gonna love it to the point of how you love Love Is War, and I'm scared okay. for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Cause I don't want to see you too happy in life. I want to see you a little bit miserable. <laughs> so I want to give you something just like, that's a little bit worse than what you. Just like our main character, he needs to he needs to go through some pain. Yeah, listen to like the this. listen to the sound this guy makes. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is. Uh, I want everybody to know that was not orange. That was blood coming out of him. Uh, very gory, gory. Yeah, we gory. Hit, How do, uh, we need to rate this video. TV fourteen at least. Yep. Look at his mace. Watch this. Can we take that? Look at it. It's a bug. Stay Can back. Can we beat it? No. See, I know there's a certain noise you can't like destroy. When you hear that, like that, like, ding, ding. You're not going to be able to destroy it. Yeah, right. That's why this guy was in the suit, but I could only get him. But uh, It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. All right, we're about to have a bunch of monies. Oh. Finally. Oh. Oh. Money. Do they like, disappear if you don't get them all? No, they don't disappear. Okay. I think maybe if you leave the room? I don't know. Let's test it with this one. 
Let's see. Yep. If you leave the room, they'd pick oh, up bye-bye. Skadoosh. Have you ever watched Kung Fu Panda? Uh, well, my, I used to... We used to have a DVD player when I was growing up, and I used to fall asleep to that movie. It's three movies really? I used to fall asleep to. Yes, sir. Three movies every single night for at least three years. I fell asleep to it every one of those movies every night. It was Kung Fu Panda. Uh huh. It was Hotel Transylvania. Yep. And then Lottery Ticket. Lottery Ticket. I don't know. With Bow Wow and uh, he was like, I can't eat. I'm broke. <laughs> no, I don't know he it. Said, Is it but animated? You, but you, no, it's uh, it's uh, live action. Oh, he okay. said, but you got the power to change that, Kev. You got the power to change that. Because he had just won a lottery. Oh. They, was in the hood. they grew up in the projects and the urban. You know, it was bad. He was like, they finally got cool. some money to move out. And he was like, Kev, I can't eat. <laughs> but you got the power to change, change that, Kev. That. <laughs> that had me roll. It's, it's such a funny movie. Good movie. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll have to check if that I out. If I had to pick, yeah, it's really good. If, I had, if you had to pick between, have you seen Hotel Transylvania? Yeah, I've seen the other two. Could you, which one would you? If you had to pick one, which, which one would you pick? I will give you my answer after the snail shaman gets out of my face. Um, I didn't even know this is snail shaman. I do apologize. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, he's a wizard. He can cast spells. On the yeah, he's got a little. He's got a little wiggly wand. Um, I can't. I can't concentrate. On deciding which movie is my favorite, with that, with that that <laughs> staff staring me in the eyes. Um. Uh. Oh, who is that creeping out of the darkness? <laughs> my, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hallowness Corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Yeah. Which do you think is better, Snail Shaman? Um, Hotel Transylvania or Kung Fu Panda? Well, it depends on which Kung Fu Panda, because the third one was not my favorite, but I love Tigress in the second one. So give me time and I will tell you. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. It's the Wooshy Finger Hold. Oh. <laughs> Skadoosh. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Skadoos. Oh! oh, I'm suspended. Oh, this is a uh, villain origin story. <laughs> I love the idea that this is this guy is is like the anti-heroine come to destroy the world. I hope so. I love those. Are, those are my favorite type of shows and movies where really? it's not the hero; it's yeah. the villain. Like it's the villain. Like he's a villain for a reason. And I've always lived by the philosophy. Since I heard it, is is a hero will sacrifice you to save the world, but the villain will sacrifice the world to save you. Ooh. And I tell Sh- and I told Shayla that. That's cool. You heard that, Shayla? <laughs> I kill everybody except Cole for you. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. That's yeah. cool. That's interesting, right? That was just like mind blowing. Like you get the one person you love yeah. in this whole world that you don't care for. Mm-hmm. Like you, like you, you love people in the world, but could you give this one person to save the world, or would you destroy the world to save that one person? Right, just crazy. Yeah. That would be a great movie. Um, mm. Hold that thought, because that's interesting. Oh, you've woken at last. What the heck are you talking about? Some kind of. I don't, we don't have movies here. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you seem to have slipped away myself. I, I, I seem to slip away myself. Oh, 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 oh. get confused. He's been drinking, y'all. It's okay. <laughs> now that we're now that we're awake, I was wondering whether you could do a small favor. Not as a payment. Not as a payment for my gift, of course. Simply because we're now friends. Friends, right? You could drive me home. It's great. You see. A horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect! I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than match for it. Good luck with the small favor, my friend. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Anyway, I'm a perfectly normal human. Um, sometimes I, you know, uh, I hear that that's how people get when they play Dungeons and Dragons. They just kind of like get really into a character and don't care how silly they look. And uh, sometimes that happens when I get into a voice. And mm. it's fun, but then I snap back to normal voice and I'm like, oh, that was weird. Oh. I, felt, I felt it was really good because in my head when I was like wanting to do like if I was to do the voice, I was like before we even said like before you went I was pricing the head like how I would do it. Uh huh. And it, it, it was very. I was like, okay, me and Cole was thinking the same thing. Yeah, totally. That's how the voice I would have done. Oh, it's not the voice you would have done. No, I said that would be the voice I would have done. Oh, oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the, she's she's totally um, sipping on some substances for sure. She's oh, it's a she. Oh uh, well, I don't know if it's a she. I always thought it was, mm. but it it's not. You might be right. It's not. It could be a he, or neither. It's not. Uh, or neither. It's not um, specified. I never thought about that. Huh. Mm. She just has like a kind of femi fem feminine, um, little character voice. She's like, oh ha ha ha. True. Stop, stop, stop. Where's the new power? I want to see his new powers. Oh, I forgot. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I totally forgot. Get some skadoosh juice from whatever that thing is. Come here. Yeah, one hit. How much is that waste of the power? Wow. It, it uses just as much as it does to skadoosh back a life. It goes through walls too. I was curious to see if it if it does, but and it does. A bit, a bit. Oh yeah, um, villains that that are like that care about people. Have you ever watched a show or a, uh, or anything or read a book or a manga that was that followed a character like that 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 followed the villain and went to that theme of like I'll <coughs> get the whole world for one person. Well, let me look at my catalog. That way, I okay. can know for sure. Uh, but most of the time, a lot, well, a lot, of, what they do is they make the villain into a hero. Yeah. Which is annoying. Yeah. Because he's a villain. Like, he should be able to kill freely. Yeah. And not feel for it. But they don't do that. Uh, I don't think I follow or read anything like that. Well. Maybe something not, that commits, you know, something that sticks with the villain and doesn't make him a hero, which is annoying. Like that's interesting. Now, some of the stuff I do read, ah. the hero can be looked at as a villain. Right. I will say that when you read, when you get into like these war, not manga, or manga totally. <coughs> no winners they can in look war. Like a villain. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they like. It's whoever your perspective is from which side you're on. All right, got the good. I like that. But none of our I seen like someone I do want to read where the dude was like trying, but he, the, he it's always a reason why he's a villain, and for his reason why he killed and tried to do all this stuff because God resets the world so where nobody dies, so he's trying to get it out that reset. So it's just so. Yeah. Huh. You know, don't tell me he's a villain because he wants power. Like, right. It would be cool if there was a, if there was a show or something that committed to the evil character. Like the the no no hero that blurs the lines, no you know villain that becomes a hero, but a villain the whole time. That would be, I would like that. And not like, well I should say this. Oh, so it's done then. You've slayed the beast, the poor thing. You told me to slay it, shaman. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, so you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Make up your mind, shaman. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without that spell of mine. <laughs> and look, the gate between us is open. Uh, I'm sorry you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. <laughs> okay. 
Anything else to say? Why do you hesitate? Because I'm curious. You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. I do admire your resistance. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What'd you say? I thought we was friends. I know, what the heck? Friends share things. <clears throat> I feel like they used me. Yeah. They like, throw me away. And and we're an innocent <clears throat> little boy, so we, we're easily used. Now, answer the question, Cole. Coffle Panda? <clears throat> strictly just Coffle Panda Oh, one, right. Or Hotel Transylvania 1. Not the series or the saga. Just the individual movies. Hmm. Just, just... Kung Fu Panda 1 and Hotel Transylvania 1. Yes. Also, have your brothers seen this movie? Seen those movies as well? Absolutely. Yes. You have to tell them those answers as well when you tell me that. Okay. I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, everyone, everyone including me, thinks that... What's her name? Mavel? Um, and Hotel Transylvania is super attractive. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do too. But we all do. in terms of a favorite movie overall, Kung Fu Panda, 100. percent Wow. Yeah. Or do you disagree? Are you a Are you a Hotel Transylvania dude? Kung Fu Panda is, is <coughs> it wasn't for me as well. It was it's Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Yes, it lives in my heart. Huh. Yeah. <coughs> so do Hotel Transylvania. Yes. Because. I loved it. Marty. Was it Marty was his name? Uh, yeah. I forgot his name already. Marty, I think. But the, all those characters, I think the better movie is maybe Hotel Transylvania, but my really? favorite movie is Kung Fu Panda. That's, ah, a, that's the one I like more than the other. Interesting. And the only reason I say Kung Fu Panda is a lesser movie is because of it's kind of short. Like It, it goes through like a quick progression of everything. Mm. Yeah, and it, he it gets is kind of short. <clears throat> I agree. This idea of inner strength. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I hate seeing the good guy like find his inner strength and stuff like that. I want him to struggle. I want him to earn his power. Oh my gosh. If he does not earn it by hours and hours of work, and he earns it by looking into the mirror, oh, that is a big turn off for me. I would not like it. I mean, he did a lot of dumpling training. It was a whole montage. <sighs> Did you see? How did you do that? <laughs> I, I was just eating some food. <laughs> shut up, Poe. I was so mad. Like, shut up, Poe. Oh, we my God. That's like, hilarious. As I was younger, I was like, yes. Wow. Yes. He eats. Ah, da, da. But when I got like, to like, this age, thinking about it now, it just annoys me. That's funny. Yeah. He now, I like Jack Black. Yeah, the, me too. The better theme song, I will say, is Kung Fu Panda by Mal. CeeLo Green killed that uh, song. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Everybody loves Kung Fu Fight. And you know, um, huh, ha, all that stuff that Jack Black does in the background, I love. Amazing. I never, I maybe someone can tell me what song to find, but Jack Black, I never hear him just sing, like actually sing, not jokingly. And in that song from Kung Fu Panda, is like the only time I've ever heard him sing, and I love Which it. Which song? In Kung Fu and uh, Kung Fu Fighting, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, he is in there. He's, he has he like, like a hook or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he's got like a couple tiny little lines. Yeah, a hook or he something does. like that. I remember that. And I just love the way his voice sounds. But every song that him and his band make, uh, it's just <sighs> not, it's not full on singing. And I wish that, I wish that. Um, to me, I could hear his Jack beautiful Black voice. is a better version of uh, Seth Rogen. Wow, he was out more. He was out. He's been out longer than Seth Rogen. But I hate comparing the two. But I feel like Seth Rogen gives me a lot of Jack Black, whereas Jack Black is just him. He does a great job. Yeah, at being himself. Absolutely, but not in a too much type of manner as Seth Rogen does. Yeah, because like, Seth Rogen he has to cuss to be funny sometimes yeah Jack Black he doesn't say a cuss word and he's hilarious yeah it's in his face it's in his actions his voice it does a great totally job. yeah I love people that are like that that are just so easily themselves and not self-conscious at all they're just yes. I mean I'm sure they are but like there are some people that um just have nothing in between them and the world and they're just like 
fully stream of consciousness. And uh, Jack Black is definitely one of those people. And uh, he's just a he's an entertaining man. Um, he definitely is. And I love how comfortable he is with his body image. <laughs> he's always taking his that, shirt off, man. I don't think he... What movie has he been in since that? A Stone Door with a Simple Lock. Oh my gosh, so many. He's been in so many movies. Not, not, not since that. Not since that. Because he was in... Uh, I loved him in uh, the movie with The Rock and Kevin Hart. Uh, but what was after that movie? I don't remember. Uh, well, I don't know what movie that is. But I know... I think maybe Gulliver's Travels was a movie where he was so, like... Uh, that's the movie. Uh, that's, uh, that's old, old. That's old. Okay. Uh, yeah. And Nacho Libre was, was really early on. Really early on, I love not to. You know, I don't know actually. That's a good point. Um, but I know he's been on talk shows and stuff, and he's taking his shirt Uh, off. You know, like Conan and stuff like that. Now I will say this about the Kung Fu Panda movies: the second or third one, they had deep plot. Like they was reaching, reaching. They was going for. They was going for for the Oscars for these plot they was doing. The second one, especially the second one, the art in the second one. Yeah, like was the that the bird? Or like that? Is that the one with the bird? With the bird, yeah, with the bird. Yes, love the art in that one. That was awesome. I, I did not like the third one. Like, so I'm with you on the third one. I, did not like, I was not a fan of the third one. <laughs> that was Snail Shaman. That wasn't me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, huh. Come on, get to, get out of my way. I have monies now. I don't need you. I mean, I kind of I kind of need you. Give me give me monies, please. All right. Whoa. Okay, so I got the quill. So now all the places we've been are light colored. And you can see in the bottom left, that's dark colored because we haven't been there before. So this right here? Yeah, I can't see your mouse, but probably yes. Gotcha. And uh, so I know that I haven't been over here because the map ends. So maybe next time. Ooh, let's go. Next time we'll do yes. that. Because this video over now. <laughs> it's been half an hour, and uh, thank you everyone for joining. And this was a yeah, yeah. This is fun. I love this. <laughs> Such a good time. I do too. Good. Um, bye everybody. It was fun. I, I enjoyed this. Sometimes just talking, like you know, just talking. Yeah, man. Fun. This is so great.